842, not my intended music for Corporal Ike Habens. He's in studio today representing Cape Police Department. Morning, Ike. Good morning. How are you doing? I am real good. Excellent. Um, we've been looking over my shoulder here for coverage about the school shooting. So tragic. And you and I, that that's not what, what you're here today to talk about, but it is happening. So we do have to make mention of it. Oftentimes, kids copy what other people do, don't they? Yeah, this is true. And uh, as I said to you earlier, before we uh, come on the air, I just hope we don't see any copycatting of this going around. I hope the police get to the bottom of it and get it shut down and be done with it. It's yeah. something we don't need. And it's so frightening, too, because you you expect your kids are going to be safe when they go to school. And we've got... Uh, three boys and a girl with scattered gunfire throughout a cafeteria. You don't even know if they're the ones that he intended. You know, it's just not that that makes a difference. I'm just saying innocence is, is gone now today in Chardon, Ohio. Yeah, you're absolutely right. This is something that will uh, linger um, for quite some time. It's a sad, sad situation. I can't even imagine going back to school after something like that happens. You know, just so scared. And for some of those kids, they probably won't. Not that school anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hopefully the kids make it. We don't know the extent of their injuries, but an update for you again. At the um, Chardon High School in Ohio, again, it is, uh, it is, is it happened 730 this morning. And um, they're saying three boys, one girl shot in the cafeteria. The alleged shooter is in custody, but still we don't know the extent of their injuries. That's the update. But, Ike, you are here to talk about Citizens Pol- Police Academy, which, th- is this new this year, or is this a reenactment of before? It's a reenactment of before. Um, from time to time, we will attempt to put on a, a, a Citizens Police Academy if we have enough interested participants. If okay. not, we will just continue on, move, and maybe look down the, for the next year or maybe two years down the road. And uh, see if we have enough interest. Okay, so are are you here today because we have enough interest, and this is going to be a well, go? Well, I'm here because uh, we it may be a go. Uh, right now, as I speak, I think we have four. I think maybe four applicants back in hand. Uh, we need to have a minimum of ten people before okay. we can put on an academy. If we get ten people, then um, March thirteenth, I believe it starts. Okay. And uh, we'll we'll host a Citizens Police Academy. If not, we'll say, hey, okay, you know, it's not enough interest, and uh, maybe we'll table it for maybe the fall, or we'll wait until maybe next year and offer it again. Okay. So what do you do? I mean, is it is it like going to the police academy? Yeah, that's a good question. For I'm glad you asked it. I every almost every year, or when we do decide to to host an academy. I will receive at least one phone call, and I have received that phone call from an interested individual. He was under the impression that if you go through our Citizens Police Academy, you could become a law enforcement officer. You cannot. You have to go through a regional law enforcement academy to work for our police department. This Mm -hmm. is a Citizens Police Academy. It's It's an informative academy for interested people that want to get a grasp of the services and activities and programs that the police department offers. It will not give you the certification to be a law enforcement officer. Okay, but if people want to be law enforcement officers, you all can direct them that direction. But I'm the I'm the redundancy department over here, direct people in a direction. That was good. Um, <laughs> but the, poli- the, the police academy is where they would train regionally to be a police officer. This is for citizens only to arm themselves with information. Absolutely. The SEMO okay. Regional Police Academy is the closest one to the city, city of Cape Girard. In fact, it's like a half a block from us. Mm-hmm. But no, this is to arm people with knowledge of the methods of the Cape Girard Police Department. Okay. So can anybody do this or do you have to have a clean record or what's on the application? Uh, you, relatively clean. Uh, once you apply and fill out the application, I'm going to do a criminal background check on you. I'm going to look over some things in your criminal and traffic history. Should you pass that, then yes, we will accept you in the academy. You do not have to be a citizen of the city of Cape Girardeau. If you can commit to us seven Tuesdays um, and and be at the academy six to eight p.m. for seven Tuesdays, we would love to have you. We, we really don't care where you where you're coming to us from. But you have to be able to pass that traffic and criminal background check. Okay, and that might take a little bit. Does that take some time? Um, yeah, it takes a, a, a day or two. Okay. It's a pretty in-depth 
uh, background check because you're going to learn about the methods of how we do things as far as law enforcement go. And, of course, we're not going to teach you everything we do, but for the most part, you're going to be privy to a lot of information. So we want to make sure we have good citizen, solid citizen type people that we're giving this information to. So what sorts of things are they going to get privy to? I mean, is it... Uh, yeah, they're going to learn about our patrol division and our, our procedures in, in patrol. Um, they're going to learn about our traffic, our, um, how, to, how you uh, should conduct yourself on a traffic stop. Okay. Uh, our municipal court, some courtroom demeanor, whether it's uh, a, 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 traffic, a traffic summons or a, you've been summoned into court for a non-traffic violation. We're going to get the assistant city prosecutor over. Okay. Um, the uh, our communicators e nine one one communicators. Um, of course, our chief will do the orientation and the overview of the program. That will be your very first Tuesday, uh, and uh, just just to name a, a few. And, and the last of which is the creme de la creme is going to be the uh, SWAT team. Well, you're gonna, we're going to take you to the firing range, let you fire our weapons, and we're going to uh, set up a scenario with our SWAT entry team and uh, we're actually going to suit you up and uh, let you participate in some of the um, maneuvers of our SWAT team. That is so fun. Let me just speak from as someone who has done some of that. I didn't wear the uniform and all that, but to be able to fire the weapons and see just how difficult it actually is. People, everybody thinks they can grab a gun and fire it and be accurate and just be, you know, Johnny Law, but they can't. There's some technical stuff. Uh, Yeah, and it takes some training, and those guys, they go out, they train every month, eight hours a day, and you really need to be proficient when talking about firearms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because (laughs) I know recertification is big when you're on the police force. Yes, it is, and it's something that we have to maintain. It's an ongoing thing. Uh, we're, we're constantly in training, and that training varies, but our firearm proficiency, it's, uh, that's big. So if they do sign up for this and they want to get, get going in the Citizens Police Academy, do they have to have a physical note from their doctor? I mean, did, what sort of physicality do they have to have? Okay. We try to get, the, for the most part, they're going to be sitting at, in, up in, in our training room at a table with some information that we're going to give them. And for the most part, we're going to have presenters uh, employees that work around the police department in different uh, divisions, they're going to come in and describe their duties. For the most part, you're going to be sitting, but we're, from time to time, we're going to try to get them as involved as possible. The most physical thing that they'll probably do will be at the end of the academy where they go to the firing range. And if they want to participate with the SWAT team, they can. It is not mandatory. Okay. So if you feel like you might have a coronary or something, you should probably just observe. Absolutely. Okay. After w- When they attend this then, do they just get a certificate of attendance or do they pass a quiz or how does it wrap up? No, for the most part, it will wrap up. Uh, we will do a um, kind of like a culmination ceremony. Hopefully, again, I've not talked to the uh, to our uh, Gail Conrad, the city clerk. She, try- she will set up a, a schedule. Hopefully, it will come right on the end of the uh, academy where we'll go to this first city council meeting after the academy and do a culmination ceremony at the city council meeting. No okay. quiz. Basically, that'll pretty much be it. Your attendance has to be withstanding. We, if we, have, we have seven actual classes. You, you probably need to attend a minimum of five of those classes. That's why we ask, if you're going to sign up, please commit to the seven weeks. Okay. What time of night do you have them? Or, or is that tentative on how many people you have it, it, it will all be contingent whether or not we're going to host the academy but it's uh, seven tuesdays six to eight p.m we'll have roughly two presenters each tuesday night okay and then one hour where do you hold them at the uh, cape Girardeau police department upstairs in the training room okay and it's and it's, it's absolutely no cost okay that was my next question you read my mind that's kind of scary yeah <laughs> for this both day of us time? yeah really <laughs> That's really scary. We know each other personally, so that's that's very frightening. Okay, so attending this police academy, then what what do you get out of it other than the knowledge? Is it a certificate? Are you then an honorary something? I mean, what what do you get? Very good question. I'm glad you asked because I probably would have forgot that. <laughs> um, in years past, after you completed the academy, if we have things that come up in the police department. 
uh, that we could use some volunteer work. If you have the time or the inclination and you would like to volunteer some of your time at the police department, uh, maybe, and it will be something maybe in our records department, maybe taking reports off of paper and putting them on microfilm, maybe in our uh, evidence unit. Maybe they may have some work that they can use some assistance because they stay behind on evidence. Oftentimes, maybe you can assist the uh, custodians of our evidence with some work that we have in there. So if there's something that we can free up an officer or another civilian personnel from the police department and we have someone uh, that's going through the academy and they're willing to volunteer their time, we really appreciate it if they could do that to help us out. Very nice. And what an honor, huh? Some I'm, people would really jump at that. Some some do. Uh, we ha- we've had people that work with us for quite some time. And mm-hmm. Again, it's strictly volunteer, so they can only do it for so long, and then they move on. And, but we really appreciate them wanting to help us out. That's pretty pretty cool deal, though. I mean, a lot of people like to talk the talk that they know what goes on in the inner workings, and they like to bash or or you know brag, depending on who they are and what kind of trouble they've been in. Right. But the first person that. Or the first place people call when they get in trouble or need help is you guys. That's right. So and knowing how it works might be a good thing. Absolutely. And, and whether we put the academy on or not, I cannot say that enough. We're still going to continue to be the police department. Mm-hmm. And we're going to administer law enforcement to the citizens of Cape Girardeau regardless. Mm-hmm. So we're going to be there for them regardless. Right. And you don't. You, you, this isn't going to get you a perk whatsoever other than being able to volunteer and know the inner workings. But... If they want to apply, how do they do that? Do okay. they call? If if they want to apply, they can call the three three five six six two one number. Okay. Go go to extension one one two four. That's my phone or extension one two six three. That's Patrolman Darren Hickey, and we will get an application to them right now. If they just come into the police department to the lobby, there are applications sitting at the station commander's desk. Just ask for an application. He will slide it out to them, and they can fill it out right there in the lobby. It mm-hmm. takes no time. It's a short application. And remember, it's a bit invasive because they're going to check your criminal history, and you're going to have to give some information in order to participate. That's correct. So expect that to happen. All right, Ike, anything I missed asking you that, that we need to let them know? Um, I think we we pretty much covered it. I, I hope we get enough interest this time and we can put on the academy. We really would like the citizens to know exactly what it is we do and how we administer law enforcement to the citizens of the city of Cape Girardeau. And they can take that information, pass it on to friends, and pass it on to other family members. But okay. We, we're really interested in hosting one this time. But if not... We'll move on, and uh, maybe we'll offer it in the fall or again next year. Okay, and right now you have four. You need ten. Minimum of ten. That's coming from number one, the chief. (laughs) Okay, Carl says ten, or it's not happening. If you want to do the application process, give me your phone number one more time, Ike. The number to the police department is 573-335-6621. My extension is 1124 or Officer Hickey, 1263. And the commander's desk right there behind the window. Station commander's desk, as soon as you walk in the lobby, there are applications sitting there at the ready. It's the Citizens Police Academy. It will potentially start on the 13th. If we can get some more people signed up, four applicants now, we need 10. Corporal Ike Havens with the Cape Police Department. Thanks, Ike. Thank you, Fawn. You're welcome.